Hello everyone, Mary Ann from Revealing Light Tarot. How are we all today? I'm actually just doing this really quick reading in my dining room. Uh, I hadn't planned on reading today. Um, but of course, after I uploaded the uh, video uh, on the Cosmic Egg and what are we gestating, um, we had information around E.G. E. Jean Carroll and the DOJ now um, continuing on with that action that Barr started in uh, representing uh, the former president, Trump, we just call him Trump, um, in relation to E. Jean Carroll's defamation uh, act. Merrick Garland was questioned on that. He is the uh, Attorney General in the US. For those that are watching this outside of the US, I shouldn't presume that, <laughs> that everybody knows who he is. Um, uh, he's he's actually is upholding basically upholding precedence. So what he's saying is like decisions are like decisions. So if, for example, uh, a, a president or a future, it's it's <laughs> to me, <laughs> and I'm not a legal scholar. It is around a protection of the executive office being the presidential power, and that if he were to de deviate in a way from that, um, then that could compromise future. Uh, protections for a president, including uh, Biden. Was it the right decision? A lot of legal pundits are saying no, it wasn't. Um, but we also have to remember that Biden does not have a hand uh, on Merrick Garland's back. Uh, the DOJ is independent of, of Biden. And of course, um, we know that the White House is not informed, perhaps unlike the predecessor, Bill Barr, uh, who probably had... Trump on speed dial, or Trump had Bill Barr on speed dial, uh, Biden doesn't interfere with his DOJ. Now, we've also got to remember Merrick Garland is, was an appeal uh, court judge. So he's made strictly a legal decision. Was it the right decision? Was it a moral decision? Did it leave E. Jean Carroll out on, uh, out on a limb with no parachute? Of course it did. So um, personal Personally, I feel it was the wrong decision. It was actually quite a trigger. The um, cosmic, the rise of the, divine, of the divine feminine rests on these uh, litmus tests. Um, we've already seen that the power of the presidential office in the US does need reform. Who's going to do that? Well, <laughs> it's up to us to decide, isn't it? Uh, what, how we want our leaders representing us. And it's up to us to protect our democracy. So I'll just say that. Um, but it was a trigger, nevertheless. Uh, I think from my understanding, it's still got to go before uh, an appeal court judge that will either say, yes, the DOJ can represent or no, it can't. Uh, so there's still a decision point, as I understand it. We'll see what's going to happen with that. The other trigger for us was um, uh, the DOJ upholding Barr's decision uh, to not to release the fully full full um, uh, unredacted memo. Um, so again, they're thinking about protecting their uh, their president or the office of president. So let's just see what this is designed because it's hard for us to understand. Um, and it's hard for us to accept what is this designed to do. Truth comes in more than one way. As I said in my reading yesterday, it's not you're not going to get the Wizard of Oz. Yeah, follow the yellow brick road. You're going to. Uh, it's it's all all truth. You know is is doesn't favour or fear anyone. Um, okay, so let's just see what we need to know about these two decisions that we are. Uh, don't agree with that surprise us what do we need to know so we have surprise <laughs> so we actually have surprise um that's interesting that's like a gift um so there could be other things at play here and what i'm getting at is what i was alluding to in the reading that we still could uh find ourselves in a situation where we're quite surprised at what might come now i've got love here again there were many layers to my uh, gemini reading um and if you haven't listened to it maybe you will give it a listen 
this is about us deciding what uh, what our core values are, not based on what the mainstream media or politics is going to feed us. This is about us deciding where our humanity lies. And relaxation. Somehow spirit is saying, don't worry, don't worry. This is going to be sorted. And again, that was my message uh, in my reading yesterday. Now I've got return to country, which is... Um, a sense of belonging and a sense of place that's at the base of this pack so really really strong um, counsel here from these indigenous cards they are the Abor aboriginal spirit oracle by mel brown for those that are wondering returning to a sense of place and a sense of belonging we might not agree with this these doj uh, decisions uh, but they are preserving the independence of the department from uh, the executive uh, White House in the White House. So one thing we can say is Merrick Garland is acting uh, on his own. Use your intuition is, uh, is the another counsel of this reading. And one more from the top of the pack challenges. Yeah, you know, the road to hell, uh, the road to heaven, I think it is, <laughs> the road to heaven is paved with good intentions. Um, was this the right? Are these the right decisions? Well, we'll see. I think in time. Um, okay, so let's just see uh, what's going to happen in the E. Jean Carroll case. And of course, the Me Too movement was founded on bringing the truth forward, exposing that truth, even though it was horrible, um, and putting it out there so that. No longer could these people operate in, in, a, in a covert way. Um, and so this could really focus attention on the power of the presidency, which, you know, as we've seen in the Trump era, uh, was in desperate need of reform and is largely unchecked. So how's all that going to happen? Well, uh, you know... Within any political party, you've got for, you know progressive forces that want to move head, ahead, that want to tackle these challenges, and those that want to uh, retain the status quo. And I think Manchin falls into that, Senator Manchin. I did read on him in another platform, and uh, I just got lots of pinnacles. Now, is he, um, is he captured by big money uh, I think you know a lot of politics is about that it's about that alignment between power and money so we've got the three of swords and it's a lot of heartbreak um, but uh, it, this is also transformational energy as well so back to E. Jean Carroll what a gutsy lady she is um, and back to justice for Trump because those two things are synonymous um, e. Jean Carroll, what's going to happen in her defamation case, which of course is linked to a rape allegation to that Trump raped her. So um, how's this going to end? What's going to happen there for E. Jean Carroll? Is it the end of the road with that defamation act or will we see it continue? Can What can you show me, please? So we've got the Ace of Swords, and that is the truth coming out. Um, so uh, I feel that either way, we're going to get we're going to get to the truth. Two Aces of Wands. Remember, in my reading yesterday, four Aces came out. So look what we've got as the signifier cards. What are the odds, people? What are the odds? You know, there's breakthroughs here. Um, as I said, I, I'm. I probably should have checked, but I think it's still to go toward an appeal. It looks like the um, there is a plan here in some ways. Um, we've got the magician, manifestation energy. Uh, these, uh, you know, are really, really strong cards. In the past, we've got su the sun, full illumination. You know what the universe is saying? Um, try not to worry too much. Try not to get triggered for those that may have uh, a history, uh, may have been in uh, positions where they've been uh, sexually abused. This is a huge trigger for you. There's uh, These are really strong cards. Now, in the sky, we've got the uh, Five of Swords, which is an abuser. 
the abuser and we've got partisanship fives are all about change in the here and now we've got a truth coming out but it's only a page of swords so it's like drip 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 <laughs> and we've got the uh what is the environment surrounding this the king of swords the investigations um the truth coming out so we have right now the page so some truth is coming out but the environment around is the king who holds the ace of swords this is all about truth the hopes and fears we get our three of swords we get our three of swords in the hopes and fears you know this is triggering for us uh but we've got the star card here intention and hope so my and third ace ace of cups uh and we've got the chariot so my um, take on this is that if, if it is going to appeal, um, I think the judge will say, no, the DOJ, this, was, this happened before. Uh, Trump was uh, president, had nothing to do with his official duties. He was responding to, even though he was the president at the time, responding to a, uh, an allegation of, uh, of uh, he, an historic allegation uh, something's going to happen here that does not set the abuser free. Though, we have the Five of Swords in the sky, which is crowning this reading. So, um, you know, uh, difficult, isn't it? Uh, at the base of the pack, we've got the High Priestess, which is trying to hide something, but we've got wish fulfillment and we've got the lie. The lies. So, uh, in Trump lying, he was trying to obviously hide uh, hide that um, that allegation. Now, I'm just going to pull on that star card. Um, does this mean this case will continue to be heard? What is this star card here? So, three aces. Remember. Now, be patient. Be patient. Something is being set up. And something will come to light in the future. We have the King of Pentacles uh, and we have the Wheel of Fortune. So Jupiter moving back into Aquarius, um, expansion of, uh, of something. Uh, and we've got the Queen of Cups. The truth is, will emerge one way or another. Now we've got two queens. So I don't know uh, how this is going to happen, but this is a setback. Um, but it has the potential for it to expose truth. Um, so I don't feel E. Jean Carroll is done yet. Okay, let's just uh, put it that way. All right, so what did he do? Why did the DOJ opt to cover for Barr? Um, why did the DOJ opt to cover for Barr? Now, what I'm getting here is that... that this is separate to other actions the DOJ may be taking. It is not there. If you uh, have, uh, if you think about what's happened since Trump left office, um, we haven't had a lot of publicity around where the DOJ might be up to with any of their investigations. It's like playing with a closed, uh, a, you know, cards holding cards close to one's chest. But why did they opt not to release the Bill Barr memo? Why did they opt not to release Bill Barr? The Ace of Swords, the truth. So what I got while I was shuffling, we don't know uh, if, in what way uh, they are pursuing Trump. The actual DOJ are pursuing a federal investigation into Trump, uh, and what Bill Barr might, what they might be talking to Bill Barr about. We've got the Nine of Pentacles here. We've got the Hierophant, the government, or the courts, judgment. Something's coming before the courts. This is linked to something else, and something's coming before the courts, and it's like holding evidence close. Uh, they're walking a, a tight line and we've a tight rope, and we've got the emperor and the emperor's secrets. So, this is around foreign um, any action by the DOJ that might be taking, be, they might be taking in relation to 
um, an investigation involving foreign influence on the presidency in some way. Uh, I go to SDNY and Rudy Giuliani and Ukraine, and we've got the magician here. So something is manifesting. Truth is manifesting. Um, you know, it's very hard to be patient, but uh, this isn't a reality TV show. This is the real world. Um, so truth is manifesting. So, I guess the, uh, the counsel here is, or the message here is that uh, we have a way to go yet before the full truth emerges. So, will Trump, again I ask, uh, if I go to the federal investigations, um, we'll have to go to SDNY. We know what's happening in New York, but SDNY, let's just check in on there. Um, too many cards coming out, but I keep getting the death card for Trump. Um, so, the SDNY investigation, are they pursuing this action against Trump in some way? Are they pursuing some sort of action against Trump? So, we've got the Ten of... Ten of Wands, something is difficult, uh, and we've got the Tower challenging that. So this is the environment, really, in the US in relation to this question. And I don't need to say that much because you all know that. Um, but we've got the Ten of Swords ending an old cycle, ending, uh, this is, you know, someone coming to a real downfall. Um, the King of Wands, we've got the Law. Uh, we've got representatives here as well. We've got holding cards close to one's chest, information uh, not being revealed. And we've got this restriction. Um, I do feel there's an active investigation against Trump at the federal level, not just at the state level. The two of cups. Uh, so we've got deals, we've got contracts, relationships, loans and debts, who he did deals with. Now, now we've got information emerging that uh, at the beginning uh, that uh, Trump and his allies promised Russia half of Ukraine. So when we start to, to look at this, uh, we've got the defend, seven of uh, wands defending, defending, and we've got temperance and moderation challenged uh sorry clarified by the two of wands be patient i think there's an active and our king of swords i think there's an active investigation going on at the doj uh, within the doj of trump's foreign dealings so we've got multiple like a delta <laughs> multiple rivers multiple pathways uh heading into one location i feel so, um, one last question on mansion, and that should uh, finish with the political readings. As I said, lots of pinnacles around him. Is that a surprise? Um, he left the door open to bring forward the John Lewis Act. Um, 50, I think, no, it's a fairly high percentage. Is it 70% of West Virginian voters want voting rights protected? So he's out of step with his own constitu constituency. Um, perhaps not out of step with his uh, donors and those that he rubs shoulders with as a senator. And he's no different from a lot of other politicians in power where they've been there for a long time. They become very entrenched. Um, and, uh, yeah, you know, I'd like to see term limits <laughs> for every politician. Okay, so let's have a look at... Let's have a look at Manchin. Uh, why is he um, stalling, I guess, this voter, voter rights legislation? Why is, he, why is he stalling that? Why is he against it? What's influencing Joe Manchin at this time? Okay, so he's under siege from a lot of uh, interests, or that's the way he feels. Uh, and the voter is challenging him. So you might find that he capitulates a little bit in the future because he knows that the voters aren't liking what they're seeing. Uh, the eight of uh, wands, something uh, moving very, very quickly. Um, 
We've, in the past, we've got endings and death. Yeah, the emperor in the sky. So again, I feel Biden's influence here. Um, he is talking to Manchin quite a lot, uh, trying to bring him around. Manchin's just carrying a lot of water for a lot of people, I feel. Uh, he's, in, he's being judged. Uh, it's an inevitability. Something will occur. He has to decide. The two of swords. He has to decide because he knows very well he might be uh, out of office if he doesn't follow a more democratic party line. Uh, really, it's... <laughs> yeah. Okay, so he's uh, that's him at the moment. That's him at the moment. It's like... He fears uh, losing power, but in the actions that he's taking, he is, uh, he's almost guaranteeing a loss for himself. Or he might be primaried out next time. I don't know how it works. He's up for re-election in 2024. We've got the world card uh, endings and beginnings, and we've got the high priestess. I feel, I'm not seeing the page of, yeah, okay, so he is, here we've got, uh, he has commitments to his donors, to those that have supported him in office. And it looks like it's coming to an end in some way. So I'm not saying Joe Manchin's on the take. I'm saying that he, a lot of people, a lot of those big donors uh, are not wanting voter, voter, uh, voter suppression overturned. But we've got, he's going to give ground on something and move forward with something. So you can maybe see, expect that. He's walking a tightrope without a doubt. You've seen those cards. The base of the pack, we've got the past here, the past. And we've got the Knight of Pentacles. He's carrying water for a lot of moneyed interests. Uh, and we've got the Ace of Wands. Um, so he's going to be reviewing a lot because he knows that he's out of step with his uh, with his with the voters so you might see him yield on something but he is he has uh, representing um, uh, moneyed interests at the expense of the democratic party so uh, i think feel the uh, the emperor's crowning the reading which is control it is my card for the presidency um you can expect, I think, possibly, him to give ground on something in the future. I won't even read on uh, cinema, Kirsten Cinema, because, yeah, I mean, you know, I know she's in a tough state. Um, one of my viewers called uh, from Phoenix, Arizona, called it the clown, clown city or clown state. <laughs> you know, because we've got that sham of an audit, which, of course, funding has been tied to Trump and his allies. So um, on Trump, I just want to say that uh, when I saw him speak in North Carolina, I did feel that he was, um, a little, you know, quite dishevelled, uh, defeated looking. Um, if this is who the Republican Party, the GQP, are, are thinking is their king, I'd have to say the king's looking a little bit weak on it. <laughs> so... Um, okay, watch for DOJ. I think they are investigating uh, Trump's foreign, uh, foreign dealings, foreign um, influences, and particularly around Ukraine. Uh, and uh, we, it's just like, watch this space. Uh, and E. Jean Carroll's not done yet. So <laughs> we're just dating. <laughs> we're just dating. All right. Uh, in the meantime, I um, uh, hope everybody's well. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for your comments on my videos. And uh, I'll be back again with another reading soon. Thank you.